we are being given a demand function so our demand function is a uh, q is equal to uh, 100 minus 2p okay first step uh, in finding the equilibrium uh, level of output and price is first we need to find the inverse demand function by inverse demand function we just uh, we mean that uh, we have to solve this very given demand function in terms of price okay so it is very simple we just need to uh, transpose 2p here okay is equal to if we transpose this q so this will become 100 minus q okay and solving for p will give us p is equal to so if we transpose this two it will get divided to each of these terms so this will become 100 upon 2 is 50 uh, 50 minus uh, 1 so this will become one half of q okay this is our inverse demand function okay this is the first step in finding out the equilibrium level of output and price and after that we can uh, easily calculate the maximum profit okay so first we calculate the uh, inverse demand function okay so what are the steps actually first step is to find the inverse demand function okay second step is uh, finding total revenue third step will be finding marginal revenue okay fourth step will be a uh, profit maximizing condition okay that is a uh, marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost okay so after that we can find the equilibrium level of uh, output and price okay so first we uh, uh, first we form the inverse demand function second we need to find the total revenue how is total revenue uh, being found? It is simply, uh, you know, that total revenue, uh, total revenue is equal to the price into quantity, okay? This is uh, the formula for total revenue, okay? Very uh, easy. So what is our uh, price function? So we can write it like this. Uh, P is equal to, in place of P, I can write uh, 50, uh, 50 minus 1 upon 2 Q, okay? And to this, we multiply Q. So this will come out to be 50 since this Q is multiplied to each term. So this will become 50 Q minus one half of uh, Q into Q is Q square. Okay. So this is our total revenue function. Mean is our total revenue. Uh, I will write here. This is our total revenue. Now what is the next step? Next step is to find out the marginal revenue. What is marginal revenue? Marginal revenue is simply the derivative of total revenue with respect to quantity. So our marginal uh, revenue is simply the derivative of total revenue with respect to quantity, okay? Means we need to take the derivative of this total revenue function with respect to Q, okay? So what is the derivative of Q by power function rule? I have solved n number of videos on that. You can find out it easily. The uh, derivative of Q will be 1. So I will write uh, 50 here, okay? minus now the derivative of q square is 2q this 2 becomes coefficient and uh, exponent is subtracted by 1 very easy so this is a uh, one half of derivative of q square is 2q okay so 2 and 2 will get cancelled we are left with uh, 50 minus q okay this is the marginal revenue function okay after that what we need to uh, do we need to find the profit maximizing condition okay Profit maximizing condition uh, requires that our marginal uh, revenue should be equal to marginal cost. Okay, so uh, let's write uh, first order condition for profit maximization requires that our marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost. Okay, what is our marginal revenue? This is 50 minus Q. So I will write here 50 minus Q should be equal to marginal cost. Our marginal cost is 10. So I will write here 10 which implies if we solve it for q we will get q if transposing this here this will get subtracted this 10 so we are left with 50 minus 10 is 40 okay so profit maximizing level of output uh, is q is equal to 40 okay and what is profit maximizing level of price we just need to put the value of q is equal to 40 in our inverse demand function to find the equilibrium level of price okay so our uh, inverse demand function was this so let's plug uh, the value of q here 50 minus one half of the value of q is 40 so i will write here 40 this will come out to be uh, 50 minus 20 which comes out to be 30 that means our equilibrium level of uh, price will be 30 okay and our uh, equilibrium level of quantity is 40 which we just calculated okay now we can easily find out uh, the 
uh, what we call the equilibrium uh, level of sorry uh, the profit uh, for this very monopolist or profit is simply equal to profit is equal to total revenue minus total cost okay what is total revenue here total revenue is simply a uh, price into quantity gives us total revenue and what is here a uh, total cost you can see we are being told that marginal cost is equal to average cost so uh, in place of average cost i can write marginal cost times quantity gives us the total cost since a uh, marginal cost is equal to average cost so we have no fixed cost here okay so marginal cost times uh, the quantity produced will give us the total cost here okay so what is our total uh, revenue p into q that is our p is 30 so i will write here 30 uh, into 40 minus our marginal cost is being given as 10 so i will write here 10 uh, into the equilibrium level of quantity is 40 so i will write here 40 okay i hope i am making the calculation right which in turn will give us uh, three we have two zeros first zero and zero three fours are twelve minus uh, we have uh, 40 into 10 comes out to be 400 okay now if we subtract 1200 uh, 400 from uh, 1200 we will get 800 okay that means the maximum profit that this monopolist uh, will earn at the equilibrium level of output is 800 okay uh, I'm not sure whether I have done the calculations right or not. If there are any mistakes in this video, you can uh, rectify me, okay? Uh, I will, uh, you know, uh, I will uh, request you people to please share, subscribe, like, comment this channel because this is the only motivation for me to keep going on, okay? You are uh, positive, uh, whatever your feedback will be. So, uh, I will uh, try to make myself clear. I am just a student of economics and in that capacity there can be some problems, some errors or uh, some mistakes uh, unintentionally that I would have committed. So you can rectify that very uh, thing. So, and I am just uh, doing it for you people uh, free of cost. I have no other, um, uh, you know, uh, intention uh, otherwise but to make uh, myself more useful for you people okay that will be my humble request if you can share this channel with your econ friends 